A business in Frazier is forced to close tonight after law enforcement deems it a public nuisance to the community. Easy Express on Frazier Boulevard was ordered to shut its doors today after Memphis police say they've responded to more than 400 calls there in the last two years. Our WREG's Ashley Paul joins us live now and Ashley, neighbors told you they were actually glad to see it go. They did, Steph. We spoke with one neighbor who says that the Easy Express gas station on Fraser Boulevard has made his community unsafe for quite some years now, but he says it will take much more than just shutting it down to turn the neighborhood back around. Neighbors who live near this Fraser gas station are used to seeing crime tape surrounding the perimeter, but tonight that yellow tape is welcome. It's time for something to be done. It's been time for something to be done. Brian Thompson says he's lived here most of his life. So when he heard the Easy Express has been forced to temporarily close, he felt relief. You purchase your home and you purchase your life, but I don't want to walk around and have to carry firearms and feel like my life is threatened. I don't want to have to get out of work from doing long hours and have to tote my firearm just to go into the store to give me a cold drink before I come to my household. The Shelby County Attorney General decided to shut down the business after repeated complaints to Memphis police of illegal activity, including drug sales, gang activity, and other violent crimes. Back in 2021, WREG reported on a fatal shooting at the gas station. Police say since July of 21, they've responded to 424 calls for service, taken 81 of offense reports for crimes including carjacking, robbery, and assault, and made 26 arrests. They've also seized a large amount of illegal narcotics from the property. They call it a public nuisance. It hurts because it's a business and it's something that we all know of, but it's kind of peaceful at the same time due to the fact that somebody, a straight bullet could go through any one of these people's windows. So while he breathes a sigh of relief, Thompson also says the gas station can't just be closed and forgotten about. He says this is an opportunity for something positive. What we don't need is another vending building there. So I'm asking anybody to come out that's a part of something that's positive. And let's figure out something that we could add there that's more for the community. Now, again, this injunction is temporary. No word tonight on the future of Easy Express or what it will take for this injunction to be lifted. Reporting live, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3.